Hello everyone, welcome to my video on externalities and Pergovian taxes. We're going to be looking today at a form of market failure, which is where decision makers in a marketplace do not account for all of the costs of their actions. Uh, so one example we could do is smoking in public. Maybe out by like the, the front door of the hospital because you can't smoke in the hospital, something like that. Uh, but you'll be able to find lots of other examples of negative externalities. It can be too much noise. It can be firms polluting. Who knows? We'll figure it out. I'm going to stick with cigarettes for now, but it doesn't even really matter because I'm really just mathing. So a rational individual will take into account their marginal costs and their marginal benefits. They, there is a cost to them consuming their good. It costs money. It makes them sick. They might die later. Uh, there's a marginal benefit to their good. It satisfies the desires of their chemical dependency. And so a rational person is going to choose to consume at a point where marginal costs equals marginal benefits. Uh, so that would be 2 plus Q equals 9 minus Q. 2Q equals 7. 3.5 equals all right, what's this look like on a graph? Uh, we'll measure our stuff in dollars. Marginal benefits, which is a lot like a demand curve. Marginal costs, which is a lot like a supply curve. And let's see, two, nine. And I'll just solve, I'll put the solved Q that we did also. Here's the thing. If it only affected me, that's great. I'm balancing my costs and my benefits. I capture every bit of cigarette that benefits me more than it costs me. And I don't capture, and I don't smoke any cigarettes that cost me more than they benefit me. So this point where marginal costs equal marginal benefits is the optimal thing for a rational decision maker to do. Here's the problem though. There's an external cost that I haven't accounted for. See, when I smoke at the front door, everyone who walks by becomes a smoker too. When I engage in whatever behavior has this external cost, it imposes an extra cost on society. So let's say my external cost is one plus one half Q. Well, now my marginal cost is not capturing all of the costs in this decision process. We need something bigger. I'm gonna call it a marginal social cost, which is the marginal cost plus the external cost, which is two plus Q plus one plus one half Q which is three plus three halves Q. Okay, so my smoking is costlier for society than it is just for me because it has the cost of my smoking directly impacting myself and also the way it indirectly affects others. So for a rational society, you would want to equilibrate marginal social cost equal to marginal benefit, three plus three half Q equals nine minus Q. Uh, let's see, that's gonna be five halves Q equals 12. Oops, sorry, no, equals six. That's 12 fifths, so Q is equal to 2.4. And that's our optimal Q, where all of the costs are accounted for in society in this smoking decision. So what we're going to find is if we draw a marginal social cost, it might, in this case, look something like this. Oops. Marginal social cost. 
where it accounts for the external cost in between. The external cost is the gap between the marginal social cost and the marginal cost itself. And the individual, the amount of smoking that's optimal for society now is 2.4. And so we see a couple of things here. One is that those do not equal each other. Our market is over providing the good and the costs to society if we leave the market alone, outweigh the benefits to society. Uh, in other words, society is best off if we have 2.4, the dude smoking 3.5, there's 1.1 too many cigarettes getting smoked. Uh, so that's going to lead us to get a deadweight loss. Uh, deadweight loss, uh, in this case, looks backwards from when you see it with a tax or with a price control. Instead of being transactions missed where benefits outweigh costs, now it's the fact that there's too many transactions where the costs outweigh the benefits. So our deadweight loss happens whenever marginal social cost is greater than marginal benefits. And it looks like this. We would have been best at 2.4, and everything after that is costing us more than it benefits us. Well, in this case, whenever we see a deadweight loss, that brings the question of should we intervene in the market, and if so, how? Uh, I'm going to ignore the should we question and just talk about the how. The trick with external costs is to get them to internalize it. One method we're going to do that with for this is a Pigouvian tax. And with a Pigouvian tax, you tax a, a behavior that's generating external costs, and you set your tax equal to the external cost. What does that do? It makes it so that the person who is smoking starts to internalize that cost. They have to pay the tax so now they will factor that cost into their decision making. When they do, it'll lead them to this point. So what does that look like in the math? Well, my Pigouvian tax is equal to 1 half Q plus 1. Well, we've already solved for the optimal Q. The optimal Q is 2.4. So 1 half times 2.4 four plus one 2.2 .2. so if I were to want to restrict how much people are smoking at the door of my hospital to get them from 3.5 to 2.4 I would charge them 2.2 dollars per however we're measuring these units, I guess we're doing that by cigarettes, two extra bucks a cigarette, and that will have the effect of pushing, of converting their marginal cost curve into a marginal social cost curve. Make them internalize their external costs, and then they'll account for it in their cost-benefit analysis, and they'll wind up at the right place, at the socially optimal place. Anyway, it's a simple example. It applies to lots of other things. Uh, we could also deal with situations where you could have external benefits. As a side note, where there's some external marginal benefit, in which case uh, markets are probably under providing your good and you would want to subsidize them. And a Pigouvian subsidy would be set equal to the external benefit to make them internalize the extra benefits of the behavior. Uh, so basically the same thing. You can just flip a bit of the math over and you'll be fine. I hope this video was helpful to you. If not, too bad. Good luck, everybody. Happy econing.
Thanks for watching.